Hello and welcome to my coding session. In this coding session I am developing a JavaFX application Bucket Manager. It is very useful application for editing and creating satellite buckets information which can be uploaded to the satellite receiver DBox2 with an Neutrino operating system. So let's recapitulate my previous work, which what what I have I done? <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, as I said early in my previous sessions, I have currently three classes. One of them XML reader, which creates a JDOM document. Another class is a set model. Uh, the set model calls XML reader. XML reader class reads a XML file which is satellite XML and respond back with a JDOM document. After doing this, set model have a JDOM document which consists in information about satellites. After that, set model class creates instances of set information object. So let me just write it here like instances. And after that, yeah, instances. And after that, I can work with the models of set information of the satellite. I have many satellites. So things like that. Now, let's go directly to the Eclipse and let's just look at the sat satellite XML. And loads takes some time to load the file. Mm, let's just wait. All right, so I have here XML file. As you can see, it consists always it it is structured like the root is a satellite. Then next level is a set name which represents information about satellite name and then correspondingly you have here another level is transponder information about the satellite so like this and as I said earlier I did created a prototype because I have some I did have some problems of reading the XML but currently I can read it without any problem let me just run it quickly so things like this let me just run it quickly and now uh, today taking eclipse some time so I see I can read XML without any problem and I'm actually reading it in the right format so yeah things things like this now to my code of my project I need to open my set model test I need to open open test uh, set information test and I need to open another class like set information set model so let's just think about what should I do next and the, on my agenda which I should do next is to to parse through uh, polarization the polarization as you can clearly see here actually what I'm showing you first uh, this is a document about structure of this XML which I, I read so you can clearly see that polarization can have only values like zero for horizontal, one for the vertical, then you have two for left and three for right. I think this is the case when you have your satellite dishes with the movement. So you can satellite so you, your satellite dish can move and that's that's that's, that's all. And amount of of values is not big. And I've thought about it. Here you have some 
range of numeric primitives and I'm thinking about to use not short but rather to use byte. Uh, let me just quickly switch to the web browser and here what we can see actually. So the byte data is the 8-bit sign to complement integer. It's, this is a set from Oracle and it can hold a value of maximum value of 127 so it's pretty sufficient now so I think it's very important to state the following you need to know the ranges for for saving your data if you have pretty obvious case and you know how how uh, how much you need to save it I mean if you know the range of your values which you save then you should take additional steps to picking a, a proper data type for saving your data it doesn't it make no sense to use another data uh, data type in this case so always think about range for your data type and I'm picking bytes because I have very small values and the, the length of the values are, are obvious. Well, let me just write test, set information test. I write class. Now, what? Let me just. Okay, so I have here. So, what I need to write? Uh, first of all, I need to write a test void check if so we have here the case uh, let me just quickly over you I need to check uh, polarization check if uh, polarization not now polarization not not now and I expect to get um, expected result of course is true expected result expected result is true then I have my I can just actually copy the stuff from here like this and some people say why do you assign some value to the actual result I think it is just make me sure that I have some obvious think thinking process and let me just copy this line now I just need to write here check if polarization not now is not now and now I need to check it and now I need to check it here I need to assign some value to actual result so what I should do I call my set information object and I need to check if polarization not now polarization not now and I did wrong spelling was not okay okay so I save it this is obvious that is fail well, let me just show you I'm failing this test yes I'm failing this test now I need to create this method creating this method in my class now I need to pass it let me just quickly write here true now I pass it's some sort of a mocking type of a CDD and now I need to refactor my code so what I should do so as I said earlier I'm using data type st structure of byte 
and now I need to create here some uh, obvious thing private so as a penalization is a list actually list which can see is bytes and I have here set and I will write here polarization okay so I'm creating this variable so I will obviously use linked list linked list and why let me just repeat why I use linked list a new linked list oh I need to write byte sorry um, let me just go back to my so linked list I'm using linked list because it is sorted and yeah iteration slower but it is better than the array list so anyway I need to create getter on setter for the start polarization um, and just go back here and create here getter and setter for the type set polarization now I need now I need I can I need to do following here I'm getting a value um, let me just do it following as following so this get get and what I need here set polarization and now I need to be able to make sure what I'm getting here so I can do following I can check it is this not null what what I have here as a method let me just do it quickly so I can I can use following I can use is empty I think I think I will use this empty returns true if this list contains no elements okay so it's empty and if it I expect that this contains elements so it need to be false and let me just do it like this and here I need to write here here I am verifying so is empty checks that in my list I have elements no I mean it sends uh, it, it returns true if my list contains no elements so I expect that this is empty method will return a false so let me just think here clearly so my result should be boolean boolean result false no true actually expect that in this case it will fail so i need to set up my result in this case is a false because if empty is returning false i have here as a condition result true and in other case i should expect true and i'm returning result pretty simple return return result okay so this this is what i'm actually expecting and just run it and let's just try it out so let me just run my set self test and any wrong place of course here run it actually test 
Okay, so it is clear that I'm I have <clears throat> that my test uh, passing. So once again, let me just so it's empty checks and it returns true if I have no elements so if I have elements it returns false then the f then this condition will be verified as as true and then I setting up the value appropriate va value which is in the result is false and this actually works why you say because in my case which I did set up uh, actually I need to actually I am expecting to get a false sorry I need to expect to get a false let me just run it it should fail yes now in order to in order to pass this test so my expectation is follows once again let me just quickly save it and run it my exp my expectation like this i have i must have elements in my uh, polarization variable and if i have elements then it means that my test will pass so i need just to populate uh, i need just to populate my polarization uh, list let me just pause okay so it goes forward and I need to populate my polarization list and how I do it let me just think about <coughs> so mm, to, in order to populate my in order to populate my list let me just think about it like this um i need to create a list let me just copy because i have it as, as, as a code so let me just go here let me just take it so that i have list here all right so and here i need to put some elements to the list let me use a iterator type iterator of a collection and i need to iterate a subpolarization all right so i need to call set info object Let me just let, let me just think it about. Uh, first, I need to populate my, my list. I need to populate my list through the iterator. So I calling iterator next. I'm getting hold of my collection. I do some add add and. Well, I think I need to think about more. So, how many values should I do? I need to the amount of values doesn't matter. Uh, it does matter that I have some values in my data data type. I mean, my variable. Yeah, so, what this will be probably wrong idea. So. I just need to populate five values. I don't care the amount. The amount shouldn't be like 
things like this I need to populate some values five values and just like this set polarization I'm adding to this collection some values just like this and wait a second wait a second the different type uh, okay zero to, to three so I should do it like this okay so she cast argument e to byte I think it will be like this let's just let's just to run it I need I almost forgot that I need to uh, set info object set info object and then I need to call a setter uh, set polarization list and I just and I just need to okay so I did pass my set okay now I don't like it this that this code is in my test I just need to refactor extract method extract method so I'm actually extracting in and I'm just initializing values init values we don't see it because it's off screen so init values for polarization not null test and that should be sufficient yes and let's just only run this test and I'm passing through so where I have my uh, okay so this is my test I'm um, I'm actually <coughs> need to verify that I'm getting through let me just do things like that I need to know that I'm passing some values and uh, just run one test Okay, so I need to do things like this. I'm just verifying. <coughs> so I have from zero to three, and polarization it can hold, it must hold the value from zero, from zero to three. From zero to three, and three is a maximum range for this type so from 0 to 3 and let me just show you JUnit result so so if my logic is right for this test I'm actually thinking about to when I finish it to implement all of the features of SAT model just go over the test and verify them maybe maybe i have some mis done mistake but maybe only maybe i don't think that i have done mistake and just do some verification of my things but it works pretty well so now i have zero to three and i don't need this and let me just run all of my tests it works and I'm pretty satisfied now what you think that I should check in my set information um, the checking should happen not here uh, let me just add some information 
plus this is information added for obvious reasons so polarization start polarization and I would probably I don't wish to print it I just need to to have a number number of set polarization and here I just this get sat symbol oh no sorry I need to get sat get sat polarization and just to need to get hold of the size I just showing the amount and verify in such a way that I know I know how large it can be that's it so basically I need now now I have a situation that my set model did fail oh. ah okay so I did didn't fail because <clears throat> I didn't add it to my uh, constructor I need to add to my constructor this is my constructor let me just do some formatting it's getting bigger and bigger but it it obvious this is the nature of XML so here I just need to write byte basically I can copy this line without instantiation and without modificator so access modificator Let's do this set polarization ah I forgot to write it as as list let me just let me just refactor my code I I'm, I'm in the blue face and now I need to refactor my code rename it set polarization list so set polarization list um, did it did it work yet <coughs> so strange thing ah because let me just think about it set polarization get polarization set polarization list um, all right I did fix it and <coughs> I broke here something and set polarization list okay so now I get in here problems because I need to to put this to my constructor let me just do as follow where I am set information test this is appropriate <coughs> so this is my setter and I did I said earlier I'm not liking the the link of my setter it's getting crowded mm, don't like it so in order to create this list I need to get hold of, of my I need to populate some values let me just think about it how I should do it so obviously and I did broke my get should be list 
now it is so I have a problem because I need to I did add it to my constructor additional value additional variable but this is not such big problem because mm, I can mock it I just can I have written uh, I have written let me just think about so I just written I just written the mockup for my value here check polarization if not now I mean here init values and it expects to get sat polarization okay so I need to actually actually I I can mock it anytime so I just can mock it any type any time and I just thinking thinking about how I should go forward so I can use my mockup here then it means I don't need this line I just cut it and put it here like so and I don't need initialization here I just let me just do this the same stuff pretty obvious stuff and here I just need to copy the line and then I put semicolon this can be deleted now now I can put it here and I just need to initialize it appropriately and next uh, next thing will be to initialize this value so and I prefer to do this in a certain way so here I have here the reading file second transponder symbol rate list I don't need this right now so I just need to set up my polarization list with a mockup. All right. So <coughs> I just I just will call the my mockup so that I can pass pass some values and that should be sufficient at the end. I need to do I just copy this stuff and I am moving this stuff to here now now it looks better and I just need to pass a value set polarization uh, let me just rename it I need to rename it to set polarization list I'm just entering the data yeah yeah not a problem at all <coughs> so I need to clean my my tests at some point I think it should be I think when I'm done finishing writing my set set model I just clean stuff uh, and this will be sufficient enough and now I have initialized it now telling me that I have some some things which is not alright let me just quickly 
Tu kreskówka. Okay, so it's uh, I can just delete it. Uh, this previous messages just delete them. They will still show. Some point Eclipse doesn't understand the code. I mean, doesn't interpret the code as it really is. And now I just need to be able to run my test without any problem because I'm passing my I'm initializing through mockup my um, list of bytes which is representing polarization values for each of the transponder my set information class now I just need to run appropriate test so I'm running my test And I'm getting problem check. There's no proof test. No pointer exception. Huh. I think I just broke my code. So check if polarization not now. So let me just go. Let me just save the name so that I can always um, put my me myself back and now go to this stuff so I think I just need to put this and this should be sufficient so I have here my set polarization list which I am initializing. Ah okay and now I understand what I have done wrong. Set set polarization list. Let me just refactor this, rename it, so, it's okay, uh, just, I just paused a little bit and um, done some refactoring at my test and, and the code, so my, my I think I just uh, was too quick for me and I forgot in constructor to make initialization. So now, if I run my test, it should pass. You see it passing through. And my constructor here is actually doing the stuff. And some sort I don't. This is actually such ugliness, mm. but I just keep it. I just need to keep it because I'm accessing, I'm accessing here as a file, or I need to. I think I just delete here this trolls file not found exception, and I need to around this try and catch here in this code and all of these operations I move in my try and catch like this and then I just I can delete it I think I can I can delete it yes some cleaning is always good and I should clean my tests uh, too because yeah so I just break my I'm I'm refactoring my tests and here I'm refactor extractor method 
set set up mock set up mock paths for reading files reading files now I can do this like this so here I'm actually using uh, this reading spam to symbol rates it's Visualization. Okay, so I think I, this should work, and this should look anyway better. So yeah, always clean your code. Always clean your code, and try to make the best work that you can. And it should be like a rule. And I said earlier, I'm always thinking about how to improve my work. And you should do you should do too because yeah, you are responsible for your code. So here I have here iterating, and I just need to iterate. Just refactor extract method. What I'm actually doing here. So iterating, iterating, iterating over lines, I mean rows of, now I'm iterating and adding Result. What is the result? Let me just think about. So I saw I creating some integer list. Let me just ex refactor extract method. Iterating over row file rows file rows and adding integers to list so I just try it out and I should run it yeah it works it works it works finally 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 so I think I can proceed further. I have here I broke my set model. Mm. You see Eclipse didn't pick it up. <laughs> uh, okay, so can happen, can happen. Always check your code. And but my but my test which I have written actually actually working fine when I execute only my test it works but I think if I run currently all tests my set model will show that I have broken some code with my set model because I'm added an additional variable to the constructor so I expect to, to fail my set model test let me just yeah as I said it earlier, I you see fail fail test and result compilation problem blah blah blah. So I did fail fail my test, but it's it's quite interesting. Yeah. Why Eclipse didn't pick it up? So I will proceed further and next. What I should do next? I need to read from the XML the polarization I must before I add some stuff to the polarization I must I must make sure that I have a range of values which are allowed it should be a range from 0 to 3 because there are actually these values are actually allowed to be added into the into the list and what I should do next? Um, 
let me just think about it so I need to check it and if my value which I have read from XML is allowed I add it to my data structure if not I just add a zero because I need some uh, because I need some I need I need to have some some value in my data structure and I, I need to have a value which is allowed you probably say but wait uh, what about a case uh, when the user actually do know do know the value but forgot to input it and I said this decision I will make it later when I'm working with my with my graphical user interface probably I will just uh, give some think about some flag for this for this type of polarization but this decision I will postpone for the future and I just work it out as I, as I said earlier work it out let me pause okay so let's continue our session I think I'm going pretty pretty much fast so now I have the situation my test for set model is not passing let me just run it set model test did not yeah, see failing 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 I have such such as such to say a failing case now I need to not now I need to pass my test and how I should do it so let me just take my set model here and move it here okay so clearly I need to make here another variable byte And this is a okay. So this is a trans transponder of transponder of satellites, and this is a polarization polarization list. New linked list integer, and this is what I actually uh, did I, uh, I think I got no, some spelling mistake oh yeah I have a byte not um, and I need to set up getter on setter let me just quickly do this I just do here and s source generate getters on setters Generating getters and setters so is always good in quick. And now I need to, to save it. And now I need to think about following. As I said earlier, my polarization can all can hold only should hold only values from zero to three. And anyway. I need to check it before I save it so let me just quick overview make an overview of what I am actually reading and how I am reading my stuff so this is a this in this code I have my situation I need to make sure that I am having my byte and I will write here polarization list not a symbol right but a polarization polarization list I need to initialize it as new linked byte list byte so now I have it 
now I need I just need to oops what I have done right so I'm still <laughs> it's funny thing I have new keyboard and it's not so stream stream it for me I mean not not such experience but it's Logitech doing um, making good keyboards I'm not making an advertisement for Logitech but I prefer to work with Logitech keyboards <laughs> if you Logitech and watching this send me some accessories accessory and I will be happy <laughs> but this was just an a friendly advice if you need a good keyboard if you like keyboards then, then this should be a Logitech well doesn't matter right now so all right so I am here and I need to verify my value and verification of value will happen I need just to be to make sure that I'm doing the so parsing second parsing second level XML so I need to copy this I need to put here parsing second level XML I need to put here code from my satellite XML and satellite XML is polarization need to put this code here second level XML so and I just need okay so all right so polarization XM level XML should be changed and I can expect byte is it right form all right so I need just to let me just think about what I'm actually trying to do he doesn't like it cannot convert list integer to list byte uh, so change type of satellite for list integer I'm not sure that I'm doing the right thing so now I need to think about can I go over different kind of elements let me just pause okay so I did found the solution maybe it is not a pretty one but it should work and if you think there are like actually tons of different kind of solutions and People have different uh, different opinion about this. I am just have an idea to go it through and deal with consequences later. Basically, result result integer list. I think I should put here object object cannot cast list integer to list object uh, uh, okay so I'm basically <coughs> I'm 
basically doing some bad stuff. List, oh, let, let me just give it back, like object. It's pretty crude. Yeah, and it it works. So I giving an objects back. I do casting here, and I'm doing. I'm letting it know that I returning back a list of objects. That's all what I need to know. And yeah, if I'm not sure this is right appropriate way to do the stuff, but maybe at some point I will just change it because of the breakage. Let me. Okay, so this, this is another point where I I suppressing the warnings here. Satellite satellite polarization list. And now to to the following. So I need to parsing second level XML to, to look it up. I just need to take it polarization. And now I need polarization and I just need to make sure that I am in the right place. That I'm here actually. Case polarization. And here I need to write following. So I have here list which includes bytes and this is a result uh, let me just write result byte list because I'm having byte list new linked list of byte now I do it like this way and now I can call it up so add symbol add symbol so I now I now I need just to call this method Okay, so and I am passing through byte list, and of course it doesn't work because I don't assign it. And I see we have almost an hour, so let me just go to this. So add symbol rate lm to transponder. And I need to rename it, of course. So I have here at uh, what I have here polar polar. I can spell it right. Polarization lm to transponder. And let me just let me just quickly look it up so I just need to copy this method rename it and now now I now I, I need to stop because I'm breaking to the rules so in order in in, in order let me just um right here at an let me just write here because I need to write test first write test first it's I'm not pretty satisfied with my set model I must say because some things are not working 
and I should mention here I'm suppressing warnings about my about my um, yeah about my um, uh, I mean I, I'm casting um, these objects to the object and then after that to the list so it's pretty hacker style <laughs> I don't know it's not it's not quite it make me not so feel about good in my about this code and maybe it wo does not work later when I'm executing it but let's just let's just get over it let's just get over it mm. and why I do it why I do it because it is obvious because I getting I'm actually getting an an object and I'm casting this object to the list of appropriate data type so yeah it's not it is it feels not right but it should work it should work and I just need to write um, a test for this method let me just uh, go to the set model test and I'm looking the place the right place for my test so I can comment this out and think I should put it right here so this test how I should name it uh, because what I'm actually trying to do <coughs> I'm thinking about so basically I need to test a verifier. I need to test the verifier. Um, and test that I'm getting and in this test I just need to make sure that I'm getting right values. And I need to this is a public public void check check if polarization is valid is valid so now I expect boolean expected result is true and boolean actual actual result false maybe let me just write it better so things like this and now I need to I need to think about how I access it and where's where's my assertion so I need my assertion sort equals I'm just using the assert equals and check if check if a polarization number polarization polarization number of JDOM document is valid now uh, in order to, in, in order to be able to test it I must read my XML and I'm actually thinking about how I should proceed 
So actual result, I need to call my set model object where it is, where it is. Set model object. Set model object should consist a method check valid no validate validate polarization I will just set write DOM document I'm getting the value from the JDOM document. This is obvious. Validate polarization number. It's, this should be enough. And it should go such way that I am here. And basically, I'm thinking about the pink like here. So I will get an, an a byte. Byte. Wait a second. I need some mock up mock up for this case and what I'm actually checking. Let me just think about parsing attributes will get value. Ah okay, so I getting one value, not a list. And I need to check Okay, so I just need to write here byte. And I need to pass I need to pass a value to this to this method. So I need I need basically I need basically a for loop. Oh, sorry, um, lately I did <laughs> work it pretty pretty hard on one of my projects for my clients. Mm, it's getting me a lot, and so now I need to think about query. I just need to put some number, a byte input. Input num input number. All right. So let me make me initialize it to zero. And I need to. I think about if I put here a loop. I just need to loop loop through the numbers. So. I need a for loop. Now let me just think. Let me just delete it. For loop over array like this, but I have bytes. Byte. And let me just put here B for byte. That I'm clearly know what I'm doing. So I'm looping. I'm looping through this loop. And I I need to loop with some meaningful. So I have here I have here the situation. Let me just copy the code from set information test. And here I have probably basically. Things like this. So I'm looking from zero, from zero to, from zero, from zero to three, from zero to three, and adding the element. From zero to three, I'm calling. I'm basically I'm I'm updating the value, the actual result value, and 
I need to put here this. So basically, I need to validate. And if I got wrong number, it should give me a boolean response. And I should rename it uh, is given number check 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 given now check validate 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 given uh, validate given polarization number. validate given polarization number because if I get the number of four it's not a valid number so yep and I need to create create such method validate now let's let's try it out so the result the boolean result per default is false we just have almost the same thing mm. So we just have we just have same type of of the loop. Here we're just looping through and and not uh, let me just write here um valid valid numbers, valid num. I just need to, to make it sure that I have valid num, valid num, valid num. All right, so it just iterates uh, over given number. So if if a given number. Uh, if a given number I have here valid if a valid num is equal to byte uh, to the given number I just need to edit a uh, given num given I will just call it input polarization number I, I need to make it sure that is obvious and I just need here to validate it. So if the given valid number is, let me just think about byte should I work with wrapper yeah wrapper type I need to work with wrapper type yep wrapper type byte byte all right so valid num let me just uh, get the value valid int value All right, so I just need to check it. All right, so and in this case, in this case, so we have a, like things like zero, one, two, three. If I getting one of these numbers, I'm 
thinking that I got a valid number, the result is true, and I don't need to iterate no, no more further, and I just break it. And here I need to result false, and I just need to iterate further, and at the end of the of this iteration I just need to return return result now it, it goes well so let me just let me just think about clearly what I'm actually doing here so I'm iterating from 0 to 3 and if a given number, input polarization number, is equal to the valid number, then the result is true, and then I stop to validate bec because I did found a valid number. That's it. And now what I'm actually do need to do, I need to extract this ex factor extract method, and I just need to. Uh, this is actually. Check, check given polarization number, and of course the break is doesn't matter here. So if the result result is true I just break my loop for loop that's it pretty elegant I will say now I just need to to use this method so this is what I'm actually done I written a validator for the for the numbers which I will which I need to pass through my other method so let me just write it write it down so i have my failing test and i have things to fix in my set model code let me scroll up 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 so i need to write here a new method The method name will be like this input result integer list. Now it's not an integer. I'm I'm returning bytes and I'm reading bytes. Input result integer list. Input result byte list byte list this is what I'm actually doing and now I need to write here byte parse uh, byte I think this is appropriate one Attribute just need to refactor now. Just need to attribute polarization, attribute polarization, and then it then it takes a value, and now I have written this method. But I forgot to validate. <laughs> Let me just uh, make a pointer here of refactor me. I need to go back to the part where I am. So validate given and now I just need to go back.
Okay, so now here in code I need to think about it. So what should I do? What should I do? I need to before I add before I add a number I need to validate it. And this happens I need to validate. So I call Okay, so I need to validate my. F I need to validate. <laughs> I know I <laughs> repeated it, and I just need to get a value. Like, uh, let me just copy copy this line like this. And now. I need I think I just need to save boolean result false I just spell it wrong two booleans result boolean result false I need to get hold of this I, because I don't like it to work with a large, um, with a very large uh, lines of assignment. So what I'm just uh, doing here, I am validating this number and getting this number from the JDOM document and make it my life even simpler and. If the result, if the result is true, I what just happened? Oh, I just hit a wrong, a wrong key. Still learning, still um, trying to learn my new keyboard, which I got because, yep. I got very good keyboard but my fingers are not not quite prepared for this pretty good keyboard and I'm just working it out and now I just need to format it yeah here like this here like this and let me explain what I'm actually have done so here if the result is wrong, let me just just forgot to, to to add additional line. And what I should do in this case, I will just say I have a default value, just a number like uh, zero. Why why it don't work such way? I mean, I probably will do it better when I do it like this. It is not. It is not a, a likable solution, but it works. So. Yep, and I probably refactor the code by doing here string default number default. I think this is not so necessary, but this way I should get result. So now I just need to uh, this method let me just make it note about this element all right so before I add a value from my JDOM document I need to 
Let me just sip a cup of water. Before I add my value to the list of bytes list, which which is actually a polarization list for my transponder, I need to verify the number. I'm I'm doing this by calling validate given polarization number and if I got a valid polarization number I'm adding this to the, to the list if I got not valid number I'm just giving a default value which is actually is now so uh, not quite satisfied with this method I probably will refactor it as I do it always and now I just need here to work my way to, to the end result so uh, passing, passing second element so at the depolarization element to transponder now 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 what is do, what I should do next After doing all of these st steps, I'm I need to think about so create. I need to focus on my wait a second. I need to look up my setup. I think I just need to look up my setup because I need to know where where I'm actually setting this stuff up. Set. Okay, this is just uh, okay. So here in the setting up data for sat info object and all right so now i need to pass pass um, i need to pass it to my setter because first i need to set the data for my object which i create Set polarization list, and of course it is list of byte, and I have here sat satellites polarization list, and then I need to comma to make it separately. So here I need to call this appropriate setter this set let me just think about transponder polarization list of bytes and eclipse help me it adds in for appropriate information now i got it set polarization list i set up my set information object and what I'm doing next now I need to after I done the setting up of the object I need to build it I need to build it and the builder should should know about builder should know about my my stuff let me just uh, think about my builder so builder okay so now I'm getting getting to this point so so here my this is my creating new set info object let me just kill it and Creates an info object.
Okay, so I have, I think I have only one place to add this stuff. The constructing and adding sub info object. Alright, so let me just. Okay, so I need to get into my builder. And. Okay, so I just need to move it back and look it up. I think, I think I did. I I already already missed the the place where I need to. Okay, so here. I, okay, so I need to to get some information. So uh, all right, so here. I'm calling my constructor create set information object building set information object and here I am need to constructing and adding set info object set now creates new set info object here and here I just need to need to make sure that I am So here is the place where I'm actually creating a new set info object. And here I need to call my get transponder. And here I'm calling just a polarization list. And now I think it should work where I have some unused properties. So here what he doesn't like. Uh, let me just look at what he proposed. Extract the local variable, replace all occurrences, uh, extract local variable, extract the method. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so the part of the casting is not, it's not quite likable at the point, but let me just clearly say following. Um, I I pick it because I pick it this solution because I found it quite a easy one and some some things which you make as a decision not always good but they are actually good for the time being and this is my way how I deal in such situation I just take the responsibility for taking such decisions now all is set up I don't see any further any further failures let me just kill it and now the unit it was for previous run let me just quickly run my test I think I will just run for the first test here and just hope to oh it's passing woohoo so I need to let me just run all of the tests and I hope they are passing. Yahoo! All passing tests. But wait, you say, do you get actually into your data structure uh, the data? Because we, we see previously that you have some problems in your data structure, saving, save data to the data structure. Well, let me reassure you, I just need to copy this and copy here. And let me quickly look at, at the time. Okay, almost one half hour. And let me do it like wait just a second. I need to I need quickly look up my set information. Set information, yes. So I need to look up string, so I will get the numbers. 
and let's just run my test and I'm pretty sure that all which I have written works pretty well. Set model test. Yes. Yes, like here. And now I just need to run as JDN test. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. So probably check if polarization number is valid. Is valid. Get sorted satellite information set. So basically, if I run this test, do I get set model get sorted satellite information set to string? Yeah, it should. It should print some result. But actually, it prints nothing. Let me just. And I think it has something to do with my previous uh, statement, which I said, uh, said earlier, that I'm not satisfied with this casting type of type of casting. Yep. So I actually have a problem with my data structure once again. I'm struggling with my data structure, and this is not good. So I need to understand what I'm doing wrong. Polarization at polarization element to transponder. Result byte list. Let me just print here some value. And I need to write it like this. Set this out. And let me just print some value. Now I just call it with my test. Mm. I need to call it like this. I'm getting a zero. Wait a second. Can I recommend this line? Yeah, probably it is not satis satisfaction. Okay. Hmm. I basically did did it did forgot. No. Ah, basically I did forgot to write the suppressed warning. So maybe maybe this is why it this doesn't work. Didn't work for me. Let me just uncomment this and delete this. And run I and run this test. Genie test. Okay, so I'm getting zero no, zero zero sets. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I probably shoot in my foot with my thinking pattern. But you learn, you learn, you learn. Anyhow let me just try it out some stuff. Let me just try it out. So I just need to write here to string and just look. Let's try it uh, start once again. You. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Does you see? I'm I'm getting the numbers. I'm getting the numbers. 
so what I need here I just need and why you say I'm getting so much numbers I just need to run one test only one run I need to run one test and I'm passing the test okay but I do not get Ah, I know what I'm not getting because <laughs> so I'm just checking I'm just checking a method and this is actually what I need to check I need to run check if the DOM element list can be converted to a single list no check if the contents of new clicks object is not known so let me just delete this line because clearly I did run not not the right test it was mistake on my side sorry so check contents of new created set info object object is not now I just need to run this method because in this method I'm actually doing all the work which I expect to run and Okay, I'm getting some values, but I have a problem with the saving of my result once again. Repeating pattern. Okay, but you see that I am actually getting zeros and ones from my satellite satellites information I have here no two no three because I have only vertical and horizontal all right so what did go wrong you ask and I think it's probably the same thing which is follow me through whole the whole development. I know I must I must save my result. So and I know why and I know why it happens. Ha ha ha. and probably what I should do I know I know where is the problem I'm don't <laughs> return my my uh, result by at least <laughs> so so what how I can fix my code in such case I just need to make sure probably the best way to do that I need to make sure that I am I, I think the best case to write another switch switch case uh, I take it from there and I probably refactor because it <laughs> makes uh, no point at this at this way so I just need to once again make sure make sure that I'm having this and I just do a proper return and what I'm returning, I'm returning, um, let me just write here, list of object, and this is a result, result, and do I need to, to initialize it, probably not, should I, 
Alright, so here I need to do it like this. So I, if I have a frequency, then it means that I need to basically ah, I did found the solution. So I don't need to repeat my code. Mm. Wait a second, wait a second, now I need to repeat this code. Mm -hmm. So resulting list and I should take it like this. Now I have why he doesn't like it initialize variable yeah not, mm, yeah maybe it's not maybe before I return I will check it I will check it here yeah let, let me just let me just make a comment refactor me refactor me and I will refactor this code after I done the work so here I just just copy so for for this case it is the same for symbol rate it is the same and for polarization it, it is almost the same but I actually need to to do to do it like this so and this should actually work and you will say it's quite a lot of code in meta time agree and totally agree with you and I need to make sure that I not uh, that my that my result is not null. I don't I don't like it. I don't like null pointer. So result not equals null. And if I if if my result is not null. If my result is not now, it means it has some some value. Then I return result. And in other case, okay. So what hap What should happen when I get the other case? What what should I do? I'm quite puzzled. I'm really and really quite puzzled. No, oh, no, it was blank. <laughs> yeah, potentially it's okay. So I compli complicating my life. Mm, not necessary, I will say. Let's just test it out and deal with, with consequences later. So set model test and then I just need to run this test. It looks good. It looks really good. So basically Yahoo! <laughs> so basically I'm getting I'm getting the polarizations, frequency, symbol rate, and so on. So it is, it is, it make me happy, but I have a strong wish to refactor this code. I don't like it, and I just need to 
refactor it, refactor extract method. And then I need to write here what should I write here? So decision here I so checking not validating not mm. actually I am I'm going through the number of cases and this is like uh, an ana analysis what to return analyzing uh, return uh, return for set info object set info object analyzing a return type list for set info object so let me just think about suppressing one and check yeah pity that I should do it but and here I have some Okay, so it looks cleaner, and I'm thinking. St I'm still thinking about this code. Probably not my, not the best, not the best work which I have done here. And. this like this okay so so anyway if I run if I run all of my tests I should see that I am passing through all of my tests let's just run it okay 26 tests the test which I have written passing and my polarization symbol rate frequency are good so remember how my satellite XML is structured the lines amount of the lines is for the each of the satellites is different but it should be equal uh, the values for the, the numbers of the rows for frequency symbol rate polarization should be should be equal and yeah and basically at this point the fake inner uh, what about fake inner let me just before I conclude the session the fake inner actually almost almost the same code I need to I need to validate till 9 and basically it is the same, the same work as it was with this polarization and I think I shouldn't record it anyway because it is the same the same work I need to create a data type of byte and I just need to write a validator for the pack inner and just to make sure that I'm that I'm writing to my data structure right and that's it and basically I think that I will be successful with this kind of thing and next time next time when i present my next my, my next coding session 
this will be probably about analysis of further things because let me just quickly go to the whiteboard let me just find, find the whiteboard. Okay, whiteboard so basically let me delete this stuff basically my domain complexity is as follows I have three models and these models should work anyhow so I have here satellite model which is almost which is going to be complete set model is ready now the next part will be to work with services services and the next part will be to work with uh, book book ads and the relations i will not discuss this any further i just point you out my roadmap so set model will be finished today probably and services and buckets i need to further anal analysis of the services and buckets relation at this point this is gonna be pretty interesting because services and buckets are have some relations and i should think how i can how i should pre how i should model it but anyhow thank you for your time i'm clearly have a success i did struggle over to some of, of of the points of the project but this is going pretty well so i'm passing all of my tests and the output is correct and the data structure is almost already in place so things like that working pretty well for me and this is available already on github so thank you all and i wish you all the best bye bye